Can't tie it up as that one's... No good. Well, clearly he's got some nice moves in his bag of tricks. But where's the finish? You got to get the result. Shots good by Laverne. Laverne's got 17 now. Boy, they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing that ball into the paint. Smash mouth basketball. And, and Clark, it's a strategy that has served them well during the course of this first half. Woods are with him. He's got six. There's the feed to Laverne. Bounces high off the rim and drops. Laverne's got eight points here in this quarter. And that's his go-to move right there in the low post. Lillard, the pass to Covington, and he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. Well, I'd have to say Lillard is one of the game's best passers right now. Here is Bledsoe. He's been a factor in their offense on most nights with his scoring average at nearly 16 points a game. That's an unusual, surprising miss for him. Typically, he's good on those inside. That evens the score. Yes. 42 points for Freak. Excellent ball movement there, guys. And that's keyed this run. Passing it with purpose, the D hasn't been able to keep up. Wadzo dishes to Booker. Doubled by Covington. Bloodsoe outside. And Davis pulls it down. Davis has got eight rebounds in this game. That's some more rugged play from them inside. They have a decent edge in rebounds thus far. And all that hard work on the boards needs to continue because that potentially may swing the game. Lillard against Bloodsoe. Kersey with a screen on Lillard. Booker in the corner. Three-pointer. Here's Laverne. And there's the bucket. Stay with it on the offensive glass. Getting it done. Laverne's got 21 in the game. And Lillard kicks to Covington. Corner shot. Bledsoe with the rebound. And you know what? That's one of those heat checks if he's taking shots like that. Yeah, heat check or not. I don't care how hot he may or may not be. He's not making that one. Shooting for Phoenix. That free throw good for more. So Portland. And we're through the first half of basketball here in what's been a good one. Suns lead by two. And now let's catch up with Doris Burke, who's standing by on the sideline. Doris. Kevin, we just witnessed what was an amazing offensive display from this guy in the first half. Where did that scoring explosion come from? Uh, I don't really know. Well, both sides have assessed what they need to do over the break in halftime. We'll see now if one can pull out away here in the third. You look at Freak in this game, he has been everywhere. Just in attack mode, and he was able to get in the lane at will in that first half. Yeah, it really was aggressive attacking basketball at its finest. I mean, really a lot of fun to watch. They've got Warren. Kersey is out there with Laverne. Then there's Bledsoe, and it's Booker in at the shooting guard. That's who's out there for Phoenix. And the wide open shot from Warren, and a great assist by Bledsoe as that one goes in. That shot becomes effortless for him when the D is so relaxed. They've got to get more intense. Davis sets a screen, and it's Amino in the corner. Laverne grabs the miss. Laverne's got five rebounds tonight. And he's just going all out to get the second chance points. Just a terrific finish. There was no one that was going to prevent NGA from converting that one. Well, clearly this is the kind of game that could come down to one or two plays, and he wants to be the guy to make those plays. Trailblazers trail by five. Lillard, the pass to Covington. No good from outside. And they're one of four here to start the second half. 
Warren kicks to Booker. Now Warren, nine points in the game so far. Laverne down low. He's guarded by Covington. Shots good by Laverne. Trailblazers have gotten just one of their first four shots to fall since coming out of the locker room at the break. Aminu dishes to Covington. Right wing. And Aminu kicks to Davis. And the shot is good, dropping in off the front of the rim. Davis has got four points in the quarter. He has such a nice touch for a big man. Yeah, and they've got to figure out a way to get a bigger body on him. Because if they don't match up his size, then he's going to continue to work him over the rest of the game. I like it. I like it. He broke out the fancy finish there. Lillard, the pass to Covington. Back to Lillard. Lillard gets the screen from Covington. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. And the idea of setting the screen on that play was right, but just poor execution. Yeah, it just can't be a hard screen at all costs. There is a legality to how you set a screen, so you've got to be inside of both lines, legal and hard. Phoenix leading by seven. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. Here's Kersey, and it's Portland with the rebound. Lures got four rebounds in this game. They've been the better rebounding team by a healthy margin, but it hasn't been enough. Yeah, you know, they're hustling and giving a good effort, that's for sure, but unfortunately, the execution has been lacking. the break in the action. Let's show you the teams that have been making their opponents work especially hard over the past 10 games. The Trailblazers third. I mean, they've been impressive on the defensive end, and they may have caught a few teams on off nights, but you've got to give them credit. They've made scoring a chore when you look at their opponents. Pass to Book. This one for three. And it's Portland with the rebound. Lures got rebound number five here tonight. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. The Trailblazers have made their free throws at a pretty good clip. They've hit eight of ten. The first free throw is good. And both free throws good for Covington. He's having a great game at the free throw line, Kevin. His hot streak continues. Suns leading by three. Bloodsoe with it. Picked up by Davis, and it's out of bounds. They say last touch by Bloodsoe. No clue <laughs> where that pass was going. That is a brutal turnover. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out west. Already we're in December. Taking a look at Portland. Here in the early part of the season, they've acquired the third best record in the conference. And of course, the Phoenix Suns, four games back. Well, right now for the Suns, they've started the season on a high note. We thought it may take a while for them to kind of find their groove, but it doesn't look like they're going anywhere here or any concerns about growing pains. No, I agree with you. I mean, their game and their style is already fully developed, and they look rock solid to me. Here's Covington. Oh. And that's how it's done. Going, I mean, find that hole in the deep and then go hard to the right. Maybe that hole was a little bigger than it should have been. Well, it was. I mean, a tight game like this one, you think they'd have a little more energy at the defensive end than that. And the replay, of course, presented by Kia. What a play. Wow. Wow. He got whacked on that, which shouldn't be much debate there. Blatant contact. Straightforward call. Simple. And Portland makes. Here's Bloodzo. Eight points for him. There's the dish to Booker. And the Suns miss again. He's been anything but his usual self this quarter. It's actually been ugly to see. Covington with the bucket. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working 
it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Lutso passes to Kersey. He kicks it to Laverne. Second shot opportunity. And he lays it up and in. Kersey. Kersey's got 14 points for the game. Some big points there. I mean, they got him on a nice play to get the ball right to the bucket. And then exactly what they're looking for down the stretch, Clark. Just more of the same. Here's Warren. And a great assist by Bledsoe as that one goes in. And that's 11 points for T.J. Warren. Trail Blazers trail by five. The pass to Covington. Outside Davis. Here's Covington. Guarded by Bledsoe. 